Hi drivers, hope you're well. Super quick one for you here. What is a side stick? Also known as a rim click or a cross stick, it is this. When a drummer makes this sound, usually on a snare drum. And what the big idea here is, it'll replace a big snare drum over here. So whereas you'd play a big rock or pop sound, often when you want something a little bit lighter, The side stick is the thing. Top tip here, give it a pinch between your finger and your thumb like you normally would at uh, the front of your grip, but your fingers at the back, which are normally wrapped around the stick, spread them out. Middle finger, ring finger, and little finger. What I like to do is put my, the back of my hand right in the middle of the snare drum. Uh, with my fingers spread out there, I'm gonna lift the stick up so that the handle, uh, the butt end of the stick is still resting on the drum head, and then slam the stick down to produce that big, solid, fat cross stick or rim click sound. That's the big idea there. Some things that sometimes go wrong with this and can make it sound not so good are if drummers use, rather than using the big fat part of the stick here to contact the rim of the drum, they use sort of a bit nearer the top. That can sound a bit weedy. And I always think a great reference point, hopefully you can see this, is if you leave a big gap here, a reasonable gap at least between your uh, the rim of your drum and the butt end of your stick, you know then that the stick's gonna be moving up and this fat bit here is gonna be hitting on the rim. So a big solid sound. When you're playing it, Basically, give it a whack, man. Although this is a sound associated with the lighter styles of music, generally speaking, you've got to get into it. I feel like this is one that can easily get lost in the mix. And so you do that thing that your drum teacher normally tells you not to do, which is press down. Normally, when we strike our drum, lesson number, one. lesson number one when you're playing single strokes around the kit is like get the stick bouncing back, let it resonate. Uh, here, we do the opposite. We press down into the rim of that drum, give it a slam down. Now, that's the thing. So as long as your hand is, the back of your hand is right in the centre of the drum head, you should achieve that effect. And you've got yourself uh, a rim click or a side stick or a cross stick. On music, it's normally marked uh, where the snare drum would be, and it's either a cross, like in the Trinity grades, if you're doing those, it's marked as a cross where the snare drum would be, as in the note head is a cross. It is sometimes marked in other ways, like a circle around the note, that kind of stuff. Um, very often there's a little key telling you what, what it is, but most often a cross where the snare drum would be. That's a cross stick or a side stick, or sometimes uh, mistakenly people call this a rim shot. A rim shot is something slightly different, technically speaking, when, uh, when a drummer hits the center of the drum, as in the drum head, and the rim at the same time, one of those big extra accented type of sounds, that's a rim shot, but it's worth being aware that in like everyday musician life, um, people, especially non-drummers, refer to a side stick or a rim click or a cross stick as a rim shot, worth remembering as well. That's a side stick, any questions, give us a shout, see you soon, thanks a lot.